Hi all, and welcome to the stream. And if you're watching the video on YouTube, hi all, <laughs> welcome to the video. How the devil are we? Right, okay, let's get started. Uh, let's reset. Yep, okay. Giveaway open! There we go. Oh dear. Oh dearie dearie me. Is this going to work? Uh, that might be a bad idea. It might show the password on screen. Oh, uh, it is working. What's this? Uh, pocket boss patterns. Oh, all right. We'll, uh, we'll take it. Why not? Right. Okay, let's go uh, to the live screen. There we are. Right. Okay. What do we get? We got the Rally's Fate. I think that's one of the Inferno Key Quest ones, possibly. Yeah, I think it is. Right. What's going on in the world of Rubicar? Have we got any freelancers? Yay! We got freelancers. Awesome source. Now, have we got transcoding? Oh, I'll have to refresh the page, not to worry. Yeah, there we go, we got 1080. Yeah, we got transcoding. Fantastic. Grumpy inside. It's the man. <laughs> what a day, man. Uh, and it is beer o'clock. Oh, yeah. Definitely. All right, let's see now. I'm a playing for a job. Straightforward, please. All right. Actual wasteland scavenger. No problem. And of course. Senior agency handler. I would like an elite. I'll take a prisoner mission. Yes, yeah, so if you want to win, win an in-game grace, then all you got to do is enter. We get an alien daily. I want to aliens alone. Goodbye. <clears throat> Salvage. Right. Okay. Anyone help me kill a pocket boss in Adonis? Yeah, we could do that. Mackie 2112, formerly Spa 2112. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Welcome on in. Let me just grab the freelancers. How are you? I'm okay. I've just cracked open a beer. You feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for the divine presence. John Wick has reached enlightenment. Nice one. Twenty-one twelve, like the Rush album. Is there another? See, when someone says 2112, is the only thing I think of is the Rush album. Right, we've rounded up the missions, but now we are going to go to Adonis on, I think, a different character, actually. And helps someone. From the girl. Oh, Emergency exit snagged me again from halfway across the grid. I swear I was nowhere near it. Truth is, I wasn't on my screen. However, I may well have been <laughs> on the goddamn uh, server. So, yeah, never mind. Right, okay.
I'll show you log it. I mean, I'm sure I can kill a 160 um, diner. Yeah, exactly. Let's take... Oh, actually, yeah, let's take... My trusty keeper who can smack the snot out of whatever diner you care to point a stick at. Okay. Well, actually, we can probably beacon. I think I'll be saved in Inferno on this character. Hopefully so. The emergency exit lights to jump in front of you unexpectedly. You bet you're <laughs> behind it does. Alright, uh, we want a Shadowlands map, don't we? Yeah. And we want to head to it, honest. He said the 170, I think, incarnator. <clears throat> I made it to a Rush concert in 1980. Oh, the golden era. You know, a great, great band. The, the, the sound for a three-piece is just... <laughs> Wait, what? Right, where's the 175 incarnator in Adonis? I can never remember. Uh, it's just... Yoik! So there's the, uh, that's the 190, where's the 170? Yeah, it's actually near a Lament Lagoon, isn't it? Okay. Southeast. There's the incarnator. We'll, we'll soon know if I've come to the right one because. Yeah, he said the 170. His tinfoil hat. Oh, go on then. <clears throat> Your target cannot be attacked. Yes, he's immortal. Four minutes. These guys are waiting for me. <laughs> okay. Four minutes? Yeah, it's not long, is it, really? Oh, again, you feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. Marg Margian? has reached enlightenment. Congratulations. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Beer. Yeah.
three minutes. Yeah, I never saw Rush live. I really wish I had. But you, when you when you listen to their live albums, you got to remember that was three guys on stage playing that. It's just mind blowing how massive it sounds. I mean, the, the, some of the three-piece bands out there are pretty stunning. Like you think, The Police, Rush, uh, U2, massive sound live. Power Trio, yeah, definitely a thing. My light's gone off. I think the cable's knackered. Okay, now it's working. There you go. You can see me. It's the one over there. It's just come on really bright though. Oh, it's gone off again. Oh well. Yeah, what's the other one? Oh god, what are they called? I really like them as well. And then the name of the band's gone out of my mind. They did super massive black hole. Um. Oh my god, Matt, they, um, Matt Bellamy and th those guys. I can't think of the name. It is a trio, though. I think Muse. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't. I couldn't remember the name. Yeah, we 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 covered. Um, uh, well, I can't think of the name of the tune. <laughs> It almost sounds like Doctor Who, but it's not. Do 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 it's hard to play. It's harder to play than it sounds, you know. The fingering to get some of it is like whoa, <laughs> you know. Especially that ring and ing and ing and ing. The little rundown before it goes back into oh, man. Hard. And the high notes, I could only do that in like a falsetto, falsetto. It's like an impression of a <clears throat> baby, basically. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's all coming out of your nose, effectively. In your head voice really hard to cover all right let's pull you we'll demolish this thing All yours. Yeah, I'm just doing a PB with someone, that's all. They just asked in chat, anyone help me kill one of these? It's like, yeah, no problem. All right, so, um, we're going to beacon. And do a oh, 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 as we respawn in the garden and head back to Rubicar. Just in case I need them for anything else later. Who knows? Might go diner hunting or something fun. Part these, log back to the MP, and we get some dailies done. I saw them at the Superdrum in Austin, Texas. Blew us away. Yeah, just mad. How do they get such a massive sound from three guys? It's just 
And it's not like tracks playing in the background as they're playing. It's what they're doing live, you know? It's just incredible. I saw you two in Cardiff Arm Park. Um, or Cardiff Arms Park. The old Cardiff Arms Park. Um, well, around the time of the Joshua Tree release. Um, and they played a load of the classics and the new stuff from... Um, the Joshua Tree was bloody good. Massive, massive sound as well. I'd love to see Muse, though. I think there's a video of me at a rehearsal. Very skinny me as well. Uh, let me have a look. Nightmare to sing if I really struggle to get the play guitars. <laughs> okay, let's probably. I had to program his uh, on HD something or other. There you go. Any more and we'll get snagged for copyright. You all know it. Anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, do you want the link to that video, guys? <laughs> Back when music was good, though. 14 years. Well, music's still good. It's just it's not promoted by mega corporations. Um, the good stuff isn't. The crap is. Because that's their... McDonald's burger, you know? That that's how it works. Um what music companies have done is distill music into that one burger they can produce quickly and easily. It's formulaic, no thought behind it, etc. But they can make it cheap and they can sell a lot of it. That that's the the approach of these corporations. The old guard were like, I don't know. Yeah, the kids like it. Release it, you know. Um, so yeah, it used to be more like, well, I don't know what's good or not, but the kids are certainly into it. We could give them a contract. And it's just not like that anymore, you know. So Muse is still making great music. You just never hear it really on the radio unless you pick the radio show you want to watch. Got this again. Your biomet. What am I missing? Odin's other. Is my eight-hour mutum mutums hasn't run out, has it? It could have done. Your biomet is required to be two one four seven. I thought we went through this last time, and I put some IP into it. One IP less. Oh come on then. Let's go to what? Let's go to one five six one. There you go. Right, okay. Healy, you can have a cost. And you can have that as well. There we go. Right, okay, we got pets, we got dailies, let's go! First one is salvage, I think we'll do the alien daily. Skelleman, welcome to the stream. Yeah, there's still great music out there. You just have to dig a little deeper. It's just not presented to you quite so readily. Oh, I didn't have the boots on. Though. Maybe that's why. Um, yeah, that's probably it. I will get the parts for the rings on this character eventually. Yeah, if you search my channel for Muse, you will find that bit. Well, you find a couple of those videos. Right. 
Let's have a look at the map. Ooh, right, okay, whichever way we go, we got Bernie Bernie Fire Death. <laughs> For want of a better word. Right, let's have a look. Not seeing anything there. Oh, God, burning flame, burning flame, burning flame. He said, going round the sides, hoping not to die. I think I just killed my pet. Oh, my God, I did. I just killed my main pet. I'm an idiot. Never mind. Can you imagine if that took a wrangle to get how upset I'd be? Good job it did. Can't believe it died that easily, though. Right, we're going to come back to the main room again. So it ain't there. You know what, let, let, let's just nip out a second and redo the main pet. Oh my god, can I, can I cast it? Yeah. Oh dear. Alright, rebuff all over again. <laughs> yeah, there's still plenty of great music out there, but... You know, it's not on... Do you remember when MTV was actually musical? It played music videos and talked about bands and such. It had musicians and bands on it. Pepperidge Farm remembers when, yeah. Okay. Right, we got pets again. Head back in. We'll get a different layout now. I know it. Yep, we do. So we're going to get a different. Where where's the the item is going to be different? Oh, found it. Gotcha. Back the way we came. Zingaffer, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. How are you doing, sir? Are you well? Always a pleasure to see you. Yes, it is a grace giveaway this evening. Bastion for free with a loot, please. Good luck. Loot, please. Sing up uh, with his loot, please. Good luck. Right, I think... Well, I need to change that anyway. Right, there we go. Have I got RRFE running? I don't think I do. Let's get that. That's always nice to have. How long have I got on my shield? Seven hours. I think that's going to be long enough. Better I'd be. I ain't gonna stream for seven hours, I can tell you that now. Well, no, I'll be way too late. For me, the old man will not be able to take it. No, he won't. Okay, so we're gonna go do an RRF. Oh, no! Snagged again! <laughs> the battle of the emergency exit. Damn you, emergency exit, I'm coming for you. Rolled myself an adv speed level to title six, and now it will I will re-roll it because I barely played it. Missed title three to title five. Well, it's up to you, you know. Can we get an emergency exit counter for the stream? Well, that might be an idea. I'm not going to lie. That could be an idea. I've come back here. I don't know. Oh, well. I've come back here now. I wasn't planning to. I autopiloted here. VTE was selling for 650 million for a VTE. Really? Wow. That seems like a lot. I'm not going to lie. That, that does seem like a lot. Crazy Mountain Goat with loot, please. Good luck. Yeah, I was coming to Old Athen for a rebuff, wasn't I? Yes, I was.
RRFE says Grumpy Insight. You're quite correct. We haven't got a hot either. Right, okay. Um, Proof cut red tape. Thank you. Um, brutal thug. Thanks, Delight. Dr. Hack and Quark. I think that's the highest one they've got on the bot. So, okay. And our FE. Yeah, no problem. I mention it because one year ago I splurged and bought 14 at 100 million. I doubt 14 of them were, you know, of original origin, let's say. Well, I'm curious now, how much is a grace going for? Great, oh God. Grace. And the uh, general, 132 billion credits. Yeah, I don't remember them being that cheap, but I, I never looked for one at that time. I've got a few anyway, so from over the years, I think I built some at one point on one character a long time ago. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, I couldn't tell you when the last time I bought some was. But yeah, I have has a few. Mackie. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, B B B B B B B B B Have you have you have you spammed uh, your hotkeys into chat? Zizon, welcome to the stream. Good to see ya. How the devil are you, sir? Right, let's go. Uh, one stains me again at your service. Uh, I will take the diseased prisoner because I am, if not nothing. <laughs> billion, says Mackie. B -b 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 billion. It's a lot of billions. Right, okay. Let's go to Harry's, and then I think I might sneak off and uh, grab myself another beer. Oh, yeah. Or maybe I should wait. I don't know. What's the betting? I can start flying in the right direction. Pet follow. Up we go. Bodie boy with a loot, please. Good luck. Yeah, we just want to line ourselves up with this path and it'll send us directly. Directly where we want to go. Auto run. Right, I'm going to go grab a beer. Let's see if I can get back before we hit the uh, zone border.
Yay! We actually made it. Oh, Tara is up. I think we can probably make that. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and the magical sound. There we go. The dulcet sounds of flying along. What are we drinking? Uh, domestic supermarket beer. Nothing special. Uh, I don't, can you mention product names? I guess you can, can't you? It's, it's called Carlin. It's just generic beer. Does the job. Tastes like beer. In the pub, however. Uh, mine's a bitter, thanks. But I've tried canned bitters and uh, I don't like any of them, so... <laughs> Not for me. Uh, quantum wings, there we go. 25 minutes, uh I got a Majo Majoito this evening. What, am I saying that correct? I don't think I am, am I? Translate. Detect language. Mojito. 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 That doesn't look like English underneath it. This is Ma Maori. Mojito. <laughs> Mojito. I, th I think that's Maori. Okay, that's interesting. What's it made of then? It sounds Spanish, but for some reason uh, Google Translate thought it was um, Maori. So I don't know. It's, yeah. Mojito. Mojito. Okay. Uh, uh, presumably, veggie mojito. Uh, Spanish traditional Cuban punch. Caps on five ingredients. White rum. Aha. Uh, sugar and lime juice, soda, water, and mint. Combination of sweetness, citrus, herbaceous mint flavors complement the rum. Um, sounds delish. Yeah, so it's a Havana and Cuba. And, yeah, sounds cool to me. <clears throat> it's like candy. Candy that gets you drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, th this stuff is like uh, like a Budweiser. It's like a, a... It's a German lager, but Budweiser is basically that. It's made from that those ingredients. I think lager is hops and barley, isn't it, or something? I do have a chart somewhere that uh, Mrs. Carlos II brought from work. Because she works in um, a brewery-owned uh, hotel and pub. Uh, and they pride themselves on their beer. Because, of course, they do. And I think I had a chart which tells you what family, a, you know, a beer-type drink comes from. It's not the kind of place... Well, you can get certain... Co you can get basic cocktails, but you're not going to get, you know... Oh, can you do a... No one's ever heard of it thing I had in a fancy bar somewhere. They, they don't do that. tastiest thing I ever drank was in a salsa bar. I cannot salsa. I cannot dance to save my life, okay? Um, but I went because I do love the music. I love those Latin um, uh, rhythms. That the interplay is beautiful. Um, <clears throat> and I went with some friends who were saying, no, you have to dance. And I was like, I'm a terrible dancer. Two left feet. I can't, honestly. Don't make me dance. Anyway, about five margaritas later, 
somebody stop me. <laughs> I'm sure I made a complete ass of myself, but hey. I was joining in and taking part. Yeah, the margarita, they put like a sugar frosting or something on the outside, but the, the taste of it didn't taste alcoholic. It, it really didn't, apart from the afterburn, you know? That kind of... Whew, <laughs> and the lemon and the salt and all of that. That's tequila, isn't it? They were doing those, and then they were doing like a big one in a, a large kind of bowl-shaped glass. And then snacks where... Kind of like you know the Dorito kind of chips, but with um, like the the, the tomatoy sauce you get at the very base of a pizza with cheese and stuff and uh, peppers on it. Man, I really enjoyed that night. Went back a few times and always like, oh no, no, I've pulled a pulled a muscle in my leg, I pulled a leg in my leg, you know. I just went because I loved the atmosphere and the drinks, you know. Uh, ICC planet-wide announcement. Doc Trax has been awarded the highest honorary rank for outstanding dedication to the defense of Rubicar. And Hypo Real has been awarded the highest honorary rank of outstanding dedication to the defense <coughs> of Rubicar. Well done, AI30. Harder to get than it used to be a year ago, let's face it. Yeah, that was one of those drinks that just didn't even taste like a drink. It tasted like you were drinking, I don't know, just something tasty, you know? Right, how are we doing on Prisoner Timer? 19 minutes, we're nearly there. Eighteen minutes, come on, spawn. I want to see if I can get the um, Tara daily as well. That's easier than hunting for a pig in Doja. Ishbling. T-Bits followed. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. not seen this game in many moons i has played it for many moons i just never really stopped playing it you know daft as that sounds but yeah just always played it that lights i think i i think that lights had it and you know what it's not the newest version it's just the cable's broken for some reason don't know why the other one's all right that's plugged into the spare usb on the keyboard <laughs> Yeah, still rocking Anarchy Online. Same game. <laughs> well, 
The game hasn't really changed since 2015. So like nine years ago, that was the last time we had any kind of major changes other than um, three new dungeons. So we got um, Pyramid of Home opened up and had loads of cool loot and bosses in it. Uh, they did a 201 plus subway. Uh, no, that came last. They did a 201 Temple of the Three Winds and a 201 version of the uh, subway, both of which are really hard. I mean, it says 201 to enter. Realistically, you want to be 215 with the DB quest done or you're going to die <laughs> you know, for those two dungeons. Um, but it's got loads of uh, very cool uh, items and armor and HUD and NCU items in there that people truly desire. And it also gave you the opportunity to upgrade your token board to a 5k token board. <laughs> it does sound like a lot, except where are we at on this character? 7,851 side tokens at 220. Yeah. So. Not that ridiculous at end game. I don't have the board on this character, as you can tell. I've still got a generic 1k board I need to upgrade. He should spawn any moment. Come on. Less spawn, please. Oh yeah, I need to perk the pet. Why do I always forget to do that? I have no idea. There we go. Pet is perked. And pet will hit harder and faster. Add all off 30, add damage 300. Oh yeah. Affected by channel rage. And I've got channel rage maxed on this character. Who's I? Belching away like a good one. And if you didn't know, by the title of the stream, there is an in game grace giveaway running this evening. Free entry. Uh, no requirements other than to be in the chat. And hashtag loot please but to collect your reward you do need a active paid account in order to claim the prize because it's via the gmi so you do need to have an active paid account in order to claim it Up to the level 180 Atrox MP has one, and a 180 Engineer has one of them as well. In fact, I have two of those. I have a Pistol Engineer and I have an MA Engineer. I have a Off Effects MP and I've got an Atrox MP. I have way too many characters. This one's already 220. It used to be Nano Mage. But I've got a kind of phobia for nanomage. So I used a breed change that I had and converted them to an up effects female. And for some reason, I like them a lot more this way. I have no idea why that is. I really don't. It's just a thing. We should have just enough time to blitz the Tara daily. We may not, but we'll give it a go. We may. 
may or may not make it. Depends if anyone's going to kill Tara today, I suppose. Yeah, my first character was born 2001. Hit 220 around end of 2004, I think. Maybe 2003. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Right. We're going to beacon. I'm surprised I don't have... Um, the other beacon here but okay oh yeah i do right okay let's put on second shield if we're gonna blitz there could be people down there not pleased to see us we'll have to see i'm oz hello kalos thank you very much for keeping the nostalgia alive i played ao it made my teenage from 2002 to 2015. I learned English by that time and I made amazing friendships in the game. Played 2019 for six months after the launch. It was amazing. It was. Um, I often listen to the musics of the game and always catch me with some crystal clear memories of the game. Very happy and depressing at the same time. Life is bittersweet, my friend. Life is bittersweet. Um... Here's my prime. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Thank you. Can we does it? Can we does it? I think we've got about three minutes left. I'm not sure. Come on. Oi, disco stew. Avalon. Goodbye. Okay, we're going. We're going. We're going. Sue Luxy with a loot, please. Good luck, sir. On your grace. Giveaway entry. We might be too late. I'm not sure how long we were waiting. We saw the 15 minute warning before we got to the prisoner. Should maybe have doubled back, but. Yeah, you know. Whatever. Bobby, with a loot, please. Good luck, sir. All right, we're going to blitz down best we can. It's probably already dead. I don't know. Double shielded. We'll take our chances. Well, maybe not. There's nobody's killed the lizards on the way down. Let's see. <coughs> no, we missed it. He's dead. Never mind. Oh well, we tried. Achoo! Excuse me. Oh well. Pyong. We'll hit the other beacon and leave. Yeah, we should have come here before we killed the prisoner. Never mind. Right. Uh, what have we got left? We've got... Scavenger Puppet. Dual wastelands. That means. Ew! Excuse me. We'll use the DB code. It's kind of a shame, but never mind. Right. Right, let's get to. I'm suddenly sneezing all over the place. Right, we're going this way. OK, 
Kill Valen with the loot, please. Good luck. Oh, Mrs. Carlos 2 found a gem of a thing. You, you guys have probably, at some time or another, have probably watched uh, one of these, you know, traffic cop, police, camera, action, crash, or whatever kind of shows, you know, where they, they follow the actual police officers catching people driving at ridiculous speeds and winding up in a field or a wrap around a lamppost somewhere. It's quite addictive viewing, especially if you're a driver. Anyway, she found them, and it was based where we live in, in North Wales. So the main road, that the big trunk road everybody uses to get kind of anywhere and everywhere. 90% of it was on there. Um, and she was watching it, and I was like, what's this? Because that looks like the local garage we go to. And she went, it is. And I, like the gas station kind of place, yeah? 24 hours, privately owned, uh, kind of deal. And she goes, is the same garage? And I was like, I thought so, because the dealership's there, and then that's the nightclub over there, and, and, and then that's the... And we all turned into the Leonardo DiCaprio meme for the next two and a half hours watching all of it, every episode, because <laughs> it was all like, I know that bit of road. Oh, I know where he's gone wrong there. No, you can't make that bend at that speed. No, I don't care what you're driving, you know. Um, it was awesome. We were just watching it last night. It was so much fun. Especially for me, because, you know, I've driven those roads for a long time. And, uh, yeah, we were just watching it and laughing. Well, I was laughing a lot. I think we got the stock, don't we? We got the stock. We need a barrel or something, I think. No, we got a barrel. We need whatever the other bit is. Is that it? Scope. Get out of the way. That's it. Okay. I got our three pieces. Letters return. <laughs> What's double shield do? Um it's good for blitzing so here's one of them um add all death 800 some nano resist for 200 thousand acs from both so put both on you've got add all death 1600 so kind of useful if you're blitzing you're super duper defensive you know so yeah any MP, if you see an MP running around with double shields, they're just sort of hiding behind their pet. And why not? <laughs> That's the idea. Okay, I think we're done there. So let's go hand in. Oh, God. Why? I've not had a sniffly nose the entire day, and now I do. What? What? what how? Tbit, subscribe with Prime. It was later than you announced it, but thank you all the same. Yeah, so if you're an MP and you get to high enough level, uh, uh, you get a nano program called the Shield of Zet, I think it is. Yeah, TZ, like that. Um, so you've got to be 215 to cast it because it needs the nano deck, which we've got. Um, and then each one is like this. So 800 add all def, 200 nano resist, nano in it, 500, um, yada, yada, a bunch of ACs. And then that's the right hand one and that's the left hand one. They last for approximate eight hours from when you cast it. Um, so yeah, awesome source for a bit of extra defense, you know.
I mean, they're, they're treated as one hand blunt weapons. But the damage they hit for is like tiny. Really, really tiny. But, you know, in a tough fight, if you're hiding behind the pet and not wanting to get hit so much yourself, awesome idea. And if you're blitzing, absolutely the right idea. Eyes on with the loot, please. Good luck, sir. All right, we'll take the green because we don't actually care. Uh, right. Let's go hand the other two in and then we're going to have to do a dojo hunt. We were too slow on the Tara daily to complete the three. Old Buff, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, so we're going to put on this of the hammer which ain't much but hey let's let it finish equipping otherwise we'll have to do it all over again i'm owls giving a wave as you do all right okay in we go and let's clear the crap out of the inventory for the mission mission complete one of those. One of those. One of those. Goodbye. There we go. We've got the agency senior handler. Can I has my reward now? Goodbye. I think we handed in the alien daily, so we're we're all good. Right, well, it leaves the freelancer's ink needing one more daily. I'm all subscribed with Prime. They've subscribed for two months, currently on a one month streak. Thank you very much for the resub, sir. Much appreciated. Hey, hey, hey. Right, I think I'm going to get another beer while I'm waiting for the cool down on the beacon, and then we can get two Shadowlands and get ourselves a uh, doja and complete the thing. Grumpy Insight, subscribed to Tier 1. Thank you very much for the Tier 1 sub. Much appreciated. I mean, I don't do this professionally, but any money I make from it, I put back into it. So, other than the microphone, which was a donation, uh, the arm, the windsock, the shock absorber, all this acoustic uh, foam and stuff that's made the room sound great. Um and a bunch of other bits and pieces has all come from people donating and subscribing on the streams because I, I figure that in my own mind that kind of makes sense so thank you thank you very much right it's beer o'clock again do you want the intermission the intermission has the intermission music no it is not me singing yes it does sound like me but no it isn't me Oh, 
Hey, he's back. Back to the live screen. There we are. How are we doing? Oh, just a couple of seconds left. Yeah, I mean, a grace if you sell it for creds at the moment. Have a look. We checked at the beginning of the stream, it could have changed. Yep, still 132 billion credits. Mathematica. With the loot, please. Good luck. Good to see you as well. Deceptees with the loot, please. Good luck, sir. Ah, that wonderful sound. Bajlang. First time chat from Paladin. What? Max, uh, Max Skill. Thank you for the follow and uh, good luck with your entry. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to turn something that, that cool down. It's also 28 days game time if you need it. Rizzle Bizzle. Loot, please. Good luck. And Martin Riggs. Loot, please. Wasn't that the name of um, Lethal Weapon Guy? Riggs? Martin Riggs? Am I, am I remembering that right? Oh, boots. I'm dying. I'm melting. Yup. I thought it was. Cool. <laughs> Those three movies, or if you're German, those three movies were like, oh, they were so good. They really were. They were just so good. They were their own little thing, little universe of its own, pocket universe. Yeah, I loved them. I really did. You know, they start out as frem fremenies. Is is that the word? Everyone hates everyone, but you've got to work together. <laughs> and then by the third movie, they're a family. That's what they are. Effectively, they're a family. Yeah, it's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. I know they did a like a reboot, didn't they? They did like a TV show of it, and I was like, yeah, but good as the guy is Mel Gibson, Danny Glover Renny Russo you, you know I mean these are some big actors you know they cast a very long shadow and yeah cool do something new you know just leave the old stuff to the old stuff you know nothing on that one okay Nothing against the, the make in the movie. I'm not going to hate uh, the movie, the TV show, you know, whatever. Okay, you're cashing in. We get it. But, you, you, you know, you're up against it with um, people as charismatic as that. The only thing I think they've done better with the TV show than they ever did with a movie uh, is Reacher. The TV show is... That's the books. That's the books. That's the attitude of Reacher and, and the crew in the books and how they function. Um, the Tom Cruise thing is like... Yeah, Tom, we love you, but Reacher's 6'5". He's... <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not saying just because you're a foot shorter it's a bad thing but it's kind of a bad thing because it's part of his character is people's impression of him being so goddamn big and no one uh, in any scene looks at Tom Cruise and goes oh my god he's massive yeah, I mean he's tough Tom Cruise could kick my ass but 
three foot two. He's not that small. Um, he's a tiny bit sort of below average, maybe, but that's about it. Um, well, in America, anyway, you know, depends. In Japan, he's a giant, you know. Although, that's not a thing in Japan anymore. We noticed a lot of Japanese guys are really bloody tall. Yeah, the uh, Amazon Prime uh, TV show of Reach is so much better. It, it's so much more the book and the character. He is kind of conflicted. He is... Um, he's the guy from the book, yeah. Inirye. APF is laggy. Crashed twice now. Really? Oh my god. The worst is if you get a crash on the and you're at the boss in Sector 42. Oh my god, I hate that. Because you ain't never getting back. You know what I mean? You're like, yeah, not happening. Server died around six o'clock. Oh, I didn't. I didn't start. I didn't log in till uh, like eight o'clock. If you're talking BST, UTC, that would be 1,900 hours, so. Okay. Yeah, the, the only thing with Tom Cruise, if he's in any movie, you're going to watch a Tom Cruise movie. You're not going to watch anything else that's what you're gonna get you're gonna get a tom cruise movie and that's cool love tom love his movies but that's what you're gonna get whereas uh the reacher tv series is no this is a reacher series this is the books man this is the character in the books these are the cat these are the characters in the books you know Oh, nadder on those two. There's one there. Come to me! Denmark, yeah, so plus one. Yeah, the UK is on UTC for most of the year, and then we have this summertime crap. <laughs> that makes no sense. No oh, daylight savings. Oh, Jesus. It's just like a thing you brought in during the war that nobody wanted and we don't need. Uh, especially true in the modern era where everywhere is lit. You know? Oh, but it'll be getting light so much later. Yeah, it's still going to be light by, like, 5 a.m. or something by the middle of the summer. Not exactly the... You know, not, come on. Na nature doesn't give a shit what time it is. It knows when the sun comes up. It knows when the sun goes down. That's it. You know, and the sun, us around the sun, does the same thing every time. All, all British summertime does is wake you up earlier because the birds are singing earlier because they start making a noise in what we think of as pre-dawn light but to them it's not it's enough to fly so they start squawking and a chirping and a tweeting um, as soon as that happens help farmers there's no such thing as a you know a farming appliance that doesn't have floodlights anymore makes no odds man makes no odds at all to farmers farmers don't want it it doesn't help them 
It was to do with saving electricity or gas at the time when everyone had gas lighting during the Second World War. Before that, we we operated on um, like like the country you were in. You had a, a time zone, and then you had a local time. And clocks used to have two minute hands because of that. Yay, Dodger! Okay, pets on follow. Beacon away. Yeah, one day it's completely unnecessary. People work nights, people work all kinds of shifts. It has nothing to do with when the sun comes up, or what time of day the sun comes up. It has to do with, I don't know, some, somebody somewhere is making money out of it. <laughs> That's all I can think because it has no practical use. The Imperial system, even the UK doesn't really use that anymore. I mean, for vehicle speed, we kind of use both here, but I can think in Imperial and in uh, Metric. I find it easier to deal with um, a distance, a small distance measurement in Metric is better for me. So X number of millimeters versus um you know fractions of an inch and temperature 100 percent um centigrade's better for me fahrenheit is just forget it <laughs> i think fahrenheit is just the most ridiculous temperature gauge ever invented um oh click that again Whereas centigrade ties into Kelvin, and Kelvin is the scientific measurement of temperature, light frequency, everything else, you know? When it's 10 degrees, it's 10 degrees above freezing. You know? Yeah. Centigrade and Kelvin line up with each other. It's as simple as that. Fahrenheit is just like, what? Some French crap where someone put the marker on the vial before they ever measured any temperature. And then went, you know. Oh, freezing point is 30-something degrees and boiling point is this... Me it's just the most bullshit temperature scale ever invented. Uh, centigrade isn't. Freezing point of water at... Uh, one bar is zero. Boiling point is 100. There you go. Nice and simple. Easy to understand. You know. Um, yeah, Mars is... Um, Eight light minutes away. No, is it eight minutes? No, the sun is eight light minutes away. Yeah, what I don't get is why America thinks the colonial British Empire's weights and measurements system are freedom units. That part I don't get. There was a war, America won it and became America. Why would you want to use the colonial British Empire's measurement system and call it freedom units when the people that gave you the Statue of Liberty invented the metric system? Sorry, but I think that's backwards. Just saying. But I can think in miles per hour better than kilometers per hour, but anything else, no. Oh, wait, I'm going to the wrong NPC. I need Ralph. Yay for the extra XP. Doesn't make any sense because America. America. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, the, the British. Yeah, and the, the old British measurement system is, is complete. BS. 
most Brits don't like it other than miles per hour we don't really use it and I grew up with Gen X so we grew up with metric and Imperial we were taught both in school and how to use both in school but when I'm spannering you know if I've got a toolkit out and I'm trying to take an engine apart give me him give me metric any time of the day most americans agree we should use the metric it's more sense especially when you're working on something Christ, you can take any Japanese car completely apart with a 10 millimeter spanner. Well-known fact. <laughs> any Toyota, Subaru, any of them, 10 mil spanner, you know, other than a few in the engine bay, you can pretty much take the whole thing apart. <laughs> no, the wheels, the wheel nuts are bigger, but yeah, you know what I mean. It was probably easier than um, IKEA furniture. No, no, it isn't. Um, <laughs> furniture assembly from IKEA is a damn sight easier to get your head round than um, understanding a modern engine and how it all goes together. Because they still do the whole thing with, um, you know, if you're taking the head off and and in, and doing stuff like that and replacing it um then the there's a sequence to retightening the head bolts and you'll go okay we're gonna do so many nanometers of torque or pounds per inch on each one then we're gonna go back over them again and retighten all of them to another measurement and then we're gonna go 60 degrees on so many you know so yeah it's way more complicated than uh, screw number three screw b goes and holds these bits together it, it it's a lot more complicated um there's a youtube channel i quite often watch about that um I'm trying to think okay let's, let's go to youtube let's go to youtube um Yeah, this guy. Uh, what's he called? That's not his channel. Yeah, M something restorations. Yeah, this guy, right? You want to know about pulling an engine apart, putting it together, but back together correctly? This guy. This guy knows his stuff. This video I watched like that. He strips down an entire um, V8 and rebuilds it properly so everything's working properly again, puts it back in the car, rewires the entire thing uh, back into the harness, uh, gets it, tunes it, does everything and then takes it out on the road. This is one of the guys you want to watch if you want to know about real mechanics, because he is a real mechanic newton meters is fine yeah well yeah uh it's it's one of those lucky for me i have two mechanics in the family that has computer trouble so we trade that's the way man that's the way that is absolutely hey mandalorian this is the way well mandalorian seasons one and two season three was kind of shit um but yeah they're definitely yeah that's the guy you want to watch anyway and if you want to laugh and you do if you already know about mechanics and you want a good laugh um you want to watch um i think it's called this i've sat and watched hours of this guy's videos they're awesome they're not all his people send them in and that sort of stuff Customer states his new engine he installed keeps shutting off. What the 
is going on here? <laughs> yeah, this guy just rolled in. Awesome channel. There you go. If you like um, car mechanics and similar, yeah, watch it. Watch his. Um, you watch those or you like these, like customer states, best of compilation 2022, etc. Fucking awesome crap. If if you're any any in any way mechanically minded, you'll watch it and go, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like ninety nine percent of it going, "That ain't right." <laughs> Arc Space Quest, welcome to the stream. We have an Arc Space Quest in the stream. You know what that used to mean? Yes, it did. There we are. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, oh, it's all good stuff. Scavenger Petrol Engine, Talk to Warden Stains, and Emergency Call. Right, let's go. Any cake? Well, oh, it's got beer. It's got about as much sugar in it as cake. But it's more fun. Um, right, we want to get the Freelancers Inc. mission as well. Right, let's go. I'm nowhere near you. Go away. Emergency exit. Next week. Uh, find me. Yes, indeed. If you don't know what that is, guys, we have to follow a bunch of very vague, very confusing clues about where to find a chain of... I'm not going to say NPCs, because they're not. They're Space Quest. Um, to help them out, and we role-play the little chain of detectiveness until we find the person they're looking for. You get it wrong sometimes they die <laughs> i look forward do you, you want to do a saturday or a sunday for the uh, find me it's up to you good sir You let me know. You don't have to let me know tonight, even. Just let me know. Hell. Saturday be good. Okay, we do Saturday. Saturday is also a grace giveaway, so it's usually a busier night. Um, where am I going? I want to go to Old Athane. Also, I need pets, don't I? I nearly forgot. I need pets. We have high level two this time, plus two grace. Oh my god. Guys, you do not want to miss that. Two graces to give away. Boom, boom, boom. That's so many creds, it's unbelievable. Quarter of a trillion credits at today's prices. I mean, seriously, you could... You could build, like, the ultimate character with that kind of money. Pay people to find you things you want. Well, if you want both of them. <laughs> Excuse me. It is beer o'clock. Right, okay. We're going to go to Harry's. Once again... Yeah, okay, we'll do Saturday. I'll make sure everybody knows because reasons. I am sad though. Oh no. Why are you sad? Cause you can't kill me no more with seekers. Or oh, alien gates. <laughs> No, be sad. We your friend. Right, 
right, I'm getting another one because reasons. So, once again, God, I need a haircut. And we go. I went to RK twenty nineteen, and no one would give a green sword to Space Quest to level Space Quest two. I can give you one. I shall give you a green sword. Um, I'm going to get another beer first, though. Flex is still looks old. Right, let's go back to the live screen. We need aliens again. We do, we do. Right, before we go to the prisoner then, uh, Mr. Space Quest, please log in the character that requires a green sword on 2019. Nope, hang on. There we go. I think it was this character. No. Is this character's gone? Yep. Not changed my name on Rubicar 2019. Yeah, Funcom Slackers. Let me get the laptop out. And the question is, darling, out of what? <laughs> I'm being silly. It's not a Cronenberg 1666 or whatever, but hey. Trandar. Hello there. I go ICC. You come, you get sword. Yep, you get sword. It's the absolute least I could do, I believe. Tranda with loot, please. Good luck, sir, with your grace entry. So we're waiting for the original Space Quest to come and meet me. We're going to give him a sword. We may, be, we may come back to 2019 after the fact and have a bit of a goon around on a lobby tune. I'm in a shadow. I don't want to be in a shadow. I'm trying to tan, okay? Obviously, I'm protecting my eyes from UV, but I want to tan. Hang on, coming. <laughs> we were misses. <laughs> right. 
remember Booyah. I remember Booyah and Sandra very well. I gave leadership of Storm to Booyah in 2006. And he did a great job. I was just... Sandra. I don't know if that was a real life name, but that was a name in game. They were great. They were soldier, and he was also the first person to hit AI-30 on any server. My God, did he gun, gun that stuff. Go to my channel. If you go to videos, uh, you go oldest, you'll see Storming Pandemodium. Uh, it could be this one or the other one, but hang don't on. Don't you know that there's a bear? Shut up with your shit. I don't want to buy it. Um... It might not be this one, actually. It might be the other one. Yeah, it's the other one. Okay. Um, there's no sound because originally it had, um, like, a soundtrack from a song. That was Booyah's wife, Sandra. And there's us at the Beast. The old Beast. Not I panned actual beast we had to compete to get to the beast uh, that was one of my first videos from 16 years ago but I actually recorded it much earlier than that there you go that's on my channel that's from that era and there's the link there you go yes I remember them both they were great people loved them both I think Space Quest was a that's the first thing he... <laughs> Possibly. That you are. Yeah, we were still on 4x3 CRTs back in those days, sir. Yeah, so it looked the way it did. It's still Noten Dove Tech, though, you know what I mean? And you could still make your name red with the whatever crystal item if you put it on your legs. Yeah, it was nuts, man. It's so cool if you did it, though. Yes, I remember Booyah fondly. He was an excellent general while I was Presidente. And he was just as excellent as a leader. I think, he even, I think to be honest, I think he was a better uh, guild leader than I was. Um... Because he didn't have a brand new baby, <laughs> leaving him with like three hours sleep a day <laughs> and a full time job. Um, but no, he he was good. He was he understood the role. He understood the position. Not Space Quest. No, it was another character that you may have heard of. Um, I'm still waiting for you. I'm dodging shadows here. Is it quicker if I come to you? <laughs> Just asking for a friend. The first ever 220 uh, was predicted before it happened, and it was a neutral NT. Because back in the day, you know, like now, factions are, like, pretty easy. Even without hitting GMI and buying faction packs. You know, you can still get quite a bit of uh, faction just doing Inferno missions. They didn't exist back in the day. So, yeah. Space Quest Zero Two Plux confirmed this is your character. Tis you. There you go. Uh, there's a mill. Get your first implants and whatnot sorted out.
Bow. There we go. We are the bowing. Has fun. What level is he? Level two. Oh my god, is he gonna kick some ass? <laughs> you can go Zazen form and still do monumental damage. <laughs> now I need to level you know how to do the do. You could own the entire subway. There's all don't forget the buff bot. Don't forget the buff bot. Get some NCU. Get a belt, NCU, and hang on. Just get back here. There's a buff bot on 2019, which is over here inside transport hangar. Oh, there's a couple of them are not on. Um, but yeah, you should be able to get um, hack and quack, reflect, etc. That, a green sword. Pretty much own the server at your level. Right, okay, so where were we? Oh, yeah, we we're going to go say hi to the prisoner. Iniri, we hit Sector 13 now, at least with minimal disconnect. Oh, there's nothing worse than trying to do an organised raid. Multiple team raid, and then people are disconnecting. It's just like, ugh. I mean, those in instances aren't as bad as, like, that happening at Sector 42, but it's not far off. It's still pretty bad. Right, prisoner is up. He's gonna do... Sector 42 is the planned. So we did that as a fullback. Good going. You were unable to attack the target. What? Hang on. Why can't I attack him? Um. Oh, because I'm flying. That's why. Don't. I was wondering what the hell was going on there. Why can't I attack this guy? I should be able to attack this guy. This guy should be attackable. tell the difference between this guy and the other MP with the different pet. Yeah, I know the ruin isn't massively better, but it's definitely better. Did I perk him? Well, I have now. I hadn't. Oh, well, there you go. Now he does 300 per hit more. Nice. Sector 42 was planned to so do that. Yeah, if you crash in at Sector 42, you're screwed, basically. If you can't get each raid group to each uh, playfield at the same time, it, it, oh. yeah, it's a nightmare, man. It's an absolute nightmare. I know, it has been there. I remember going there with Hodor Raid and... We got all the way to our boss, killed our boss, team three or whatever, you know, raid group three, they failed. So we went to go and kind of like do a follow up. Um, unfortunately, uh, the people that we were running there with forgot you got to click that shield doohickey on the floor when you enter and when you leave. 
after we lost like the healer on the way <laughs> like oh no this is not gonna work and we never made it it's a shame really mostly uh see guys in chat and alliance spots were down because of this oh my god Fighting the technology to play the game. It's not a good look. Zari, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. AP, we do a lot of crossover. Oh, well, yeah, Hodor Raid, and especially Raid for All. Because that's cross uh, faction as well. I want to level so I can do some events on 2019. Sounds like a plan. Kill all the things. What's my other daily? Emergency call, kill diseased. Oh, yeah, scavenger perpetual wasteland. That's pretty easy. I do need three spaces. I do have three spaces. Ding! Level three. Yay! Quick look around, see if any noobs are wanting to help. Can't see any. We're killing. Right, any good loot? Ah, the usual bon affair. Right. Dust Brigade codes. Back to perpetual wastelands. Kadump, we fell. He's all right, folks. Right, okay, so scavenger perpetual wastelands. Upload and go. Perpetual wastelands. Exactly what it says on the tin. When you're an art trucks hulk <laughs> i love that you got that level that quickly you hit level five or six in the backyard even you know it's the green goop and once upon a time, boys and girls, the initiation process involved swimming across it for the ARC team. Don't ask me how I know. I may have been stood here at the time or flying here in a yarn, but yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. Right, let's see. What have we got here? We have a gun stock, gun barrel. I need a scope. I need a scope. We're trying to find it. Oh, what's this? 
is the scope. Okay, we've got the three items. It is time to return. I have a very old screenshot of me on Kalos 2 being accepted into Ark. Uh, but then I became El Presidente of the Guild. Was working a full-time job. And went, you know, I love you guys and I love what you do. But I don't honestly think I can do the whole thing right now. I can't spread myself that thin. And they were like, that's okay. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I may or may not have screenshots of when I was teleported there for the very first time. I had a shank of maze and the melee energy weapon on at the time. <laughs> so... God knows how screwed up my character was, but anyway. Another dead prisoner. Uh, I'll take green, even though I don't have the inventory space. It doesn't matter. Because I don't really want it. So I'll delete it, then close the overflow. Before overflow, people used sneaky things to equip two of the same weapons which is why we now have overflow okay so the alien daily is emergency call which i think is yeah it's out in straight okay <laughs> excuse me Go straight to Strat. Emergency calls quite easy. Just remember, do not hit the NPC or you get grief or death. You hit the NPC and ouch, <laughs> you're redoing the entire mission. Uh, and also dying a lot. So yeah, don't do that. No buff bots. Yeah, there are. Go go to the transportation um, hub in ICC and send a tell to any of them. Help. Right. We talk to you. Where are those aliens come from? Could it be the crashed alien ship over there? I don't know how many buffs they'll have because it looked like a couple were missing, but... Yeah, right next to where the grid is in ICC. It looked like a couple of them were logged off. because there was two gaps and they normally shoulder to shoulder so I think one, of the, one or more of them had in fact you know wasn't logged in or crashed or you know whatever Talk to NPC again. Mission complete. There we go.
Return to the agency. Lock muck with a loop, please. Good luck on your entry. There's 22 in total now for the grace. Ready to hand them in. So let's go. Zari with a loot, please. Good luck, sir. Right. Okie dokie. To the mission agency. Hysteria. Evening, Carl. And to the chat. Yeah, good evening. Joining us towards the end of the stream. Apologies, but um, is how it is. Mission complete. Uh, I will be streaming again tomorrow. Probably a bit of a longer stream. I'm not sure. Right, let's give him these three doohickeys. There we go. Goodbye. And then we do diseased prisoner. Can I get my reward now? Goodbye. Dabolica. With a loop, please. Good luck. And welcome on in. Your first chat. Alien Daily completed. So now we're waiting on the timer. Okay, we'll level soon on 2019. See you next Saturday. Okay, Space Quest. Always a pleasure, good sir. I think you already entered an eerie. In fact, I'm almost positive you did. <laughs> but it will only accept one entry. It won't accept multiple. None of that shenanigans. I'm old. I know. Me too. It's no good, is it? No one, no one asks to get old. It just happens. And yeah. Oh, plus ten. Show the young woman your wrist. There we go. And ADHD, oh, yeah. It's, I think so many people actually are in that spectrum and don't even realise they're in that spectrum. You know, we're not all monk, but, you know, a lot of us have a thing. It's very similar, yeah, that's for sure. Right, okay. It's beacon. I found out was 38, yeah, I know, I'm 55. I'm pretty sure I do as well. Right, Doja Hunt, and we're calling it a day. I'm just praying that it doesn't go on forever and ever and ever and ever. Right, okay. Let's see how we do. Yeah, I don't think I suffer from it. Um, I know I have partial, like a, a mild dyslexia. Like I can read anything. Don't ask me to spell it. Um, and I think half of that is the fact that English is such a mixed up, ridiculous language that doesn't even follow its own spelling rules that you can never really know for sure. You just have to memorize things. 
Like you've heard that phrase, oh, I before E, except after C. Yeah, but that's only true for 44 words. The other 972, it doesn't apply to. It is the most messed up language ever. Kaz, with a loot, please. Good luck. Yeah, everything is straightforward compared to English, let's face it. Okay, there's someone over there killing a thing. We has to run ahead. Yeah, I think pretty much every language is simpler than English to write and spell rather than simply speak. To speak, I think it's actually quite simple, but to 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 spell it, oh my god. Carl says, thanks, if I win, I will reactivate my camp. Well, I hope you reactivate even if you don't win. You know, just saying. The more players, the better. That's the game. Not true, English is easy. Wrong. <laughs> it's not simple. Spelling English is not simple. It's it, it it's emphatically not. It's provably not. Speaking it is simple. Because it's phonetic and simple. Spelling it? No. It's Nordic French, Germanic, Latin, and about, you know, another percent three other languages, and none of them obey the same rule. No, I'm afraid, you, I'm sorry, Siloxi, but you're wrong. Okay. How do you say the word router? Do you say router or router? So the OU vowel grouping in a word is completely different depending upon the word itself. Because you have OU in through, you have OU in thought you have OU in about 10 other words and all of them sound completely different tomb and bomb yep there you go another example of why English is one of the hardest languages to learn to spell not to speak but to spell writing english is far harder than uh speaking it speaking it is relatively easy but everything else nope <laughs> that gs guy scott welcome on in good sir and the raiders to the to the uh, ao stream Yeah, it's 28% French, 23% Germanic, 18% um, Latin, and then there's a bunch of other influences as well for British English. It's, it's impossibly hard to spell and pronounce. Because it depends when that particular town was invaded and by whom. If it ends in Sestia, or... Sestia, it's Roman. If it ends in something else, it was the Normans. If it ends in another thing, it was the Vikings, etc., etc., etc. And we've been invaded by all of them. So, 
Yeah, it, it's massively complicated to spell correctly. Big country! Welcome to the stream. English is just poor spoken French. It is and it isn't even like modern French is poorly spoken English would be my argument because whenever you see um, you know the little hat character it means a letter has been removed and is no longer pronounced and it has a little grey little tombstone above it Yeah, so... How to translate French without speaking it. There you go. So Learn French with real French TV. Just shut up. I, you know, we're going to watch the video, not your ad. Yeah, this. Watch this, guys. French is a broken language as well. If it has a little hat, then insert a letter and it becomes English. French is just as broken as English is. Only English is worse. Because <laughs> you've got all the, the BS of who invaded who in what century. Americans have got a much better idea about spelling English. They make it an emphatic rule and follow it. Whereas English goes, yeah, but it depends when we got that word, how we use it today, and 10 other things that make no sense whatsoever. It, it, like I say, the I before E rule only applies to 44 words. It does not apply to all the others. It applies to less words than it does apply to. And that's broken. But that's what they teach in schools. And it's wrong. Because that ain't how it works. O U is always pronounced in the same way. You thought thorough month. <laughs> None of them are pronounced in the same way, but have the same letters. It's completely broken. Colomos. To be fair, we barely make students commit to learning things these nowadays. Oh, I don't know. I was educated a long time ago when we had libraries and things. Um, so it wasn't a matter of opinion. It wasn't a matter of providing an intellect link. It was a matter of going to a library and learning something. Because it was historical factual data of the time. You know, it's pretty simple. Let me click my corpse. Nope, nothing on that one. Right, okay. I don't want to click on any of you bullshits. Go away. You're just annoying. Nobody wants you. Nobody wants to kill you unless they're doing the quest. Yeah, but with German, instead of inventing a new word, you just use words you already own uh, or have and stick them all together. It was much better. I mean, some people take the, the, the Michael out of that, but I, I, I don't agree they should. I think, no, I think Germany's got the right idea. And Britain will always be part Germanic because we used to have Doggerland where the Germanic races came to Britain. So we'll always be primarily, you know, tied to that.
was a word that had three C's in it and all the C's are said differently. Yeah, how the hell is that making any sense? It just doesn't, does it? You know. Tap, tap. There it is. Kill the thing that we want. Nothing on him. Okay, we'll go up the hill. Try and pull another one. Right, there we go. You just don't matter. Just go away. No, English is above me on the worst language in the world to learn to spell correctly. When people complain about America, like, changing the rules. No, I think America's got the right idea. They're going, no, let's make this actually make sense. Instead of being some bizarre <laughs> kind of thing that it is. I, th I think America's got a much better idea about... No, let's change it to this. Why is there a G? No one says the G in this word. It doesn't need it. Um... Night does not require a G, but we have one and we never pronounce it. It makes no bloody sense whatsoever. Telephone. Well, that's French, which is 30% odd or 28% of the English language anyway. Telephone. It's French. It's not. It's not. It's not English. It's French. But English is made of French and a bunch of other languages. You know. There, there, and there. Yeah, exactly. Who thought of that? There, possessive. They are there, or over there. I mean, just. Why? <laughs> Why even do that? <laughs> yeah, two, two, and two. Why? Why do we need that? Two the number, two directive, and two directive. It, it, it just, yeah, it's complete horse twaddle. It really is just complete horse twaddle. It makes no sense whatsoever. And that's why I say British English is one of the worst languages ever to learn how to spell correctly. So if you're, you're typing in British English, you have to remember how words are spelled because they do not follow any given rule. Or one word follows one rule and another word follows a different rule. America's totally got the right idea about changing that. Always depends on context, depending on every language. Yeah, but how it, he how it sounds should reflect how it's written. And it doesn't in British English. It's, it's a complete mess. And no one wants to change it <laughs> in Britain because that's the way we've always done it. It was good enough for us. You know, it, it has that attitude to it, which is just annoying. And yeah, what do you do? Kind of deal, you know? Demon of Shadow. Let's try him. Britain is good in consistency in what they like to do. Well, it depends which era you're talking about, you know. Because it, the, the, the character of, of that does change, but we are a nation 
like Japan that is very generally very respectful and because that nation has been invaded so many times you know no I'll come with you I'm not walking down the alley in the dark I'm gonna wait a minute right okay Mrs Kalos 2 has to go somewhere is this RK19 or RK5? RK5. Um, right, we're going to do the Grace giveaway now because Mrs. Callus 2 needs to go somewhere and there is no way in hell I'm letting her walk there alone. Call me a caveman all you want. It doesn't matter. I'm still correct. Because, yeah, I'm not going to do anything to fight off four guys but i can do enough to keep them busy while she runs the fluff away and that's the thinking loot please good luck i'm gonna do the giveaway in one minute there we go adapt DND with a loop, please. Good luck. I'm going to go up to the GMI. I'm going to have a P. Uh, and then we're going to do the draw as soon as I get back from having a P. My account isn't active, so I'm just here to follow people who play this game. I hope you. Oh, yeah. Okay, dude. That's no problem. The only way you can claim the prize is if you do have an active account with gmi access that, i don't make the rules i mean that's just how gmi works right okay i'll be back in a minute Right, here we go, everyone. Right, so is that everyone with their entries? Because I have to go do, um, you know. Only salsa with a loot, please. Good luck. Right, so if that is everyone that wishes to enter, and you haven't yet, I'm going to give you a few more seconds to enter. I haven't seen a tiger claw in forever. Oh, they exist. Right, are we all ready? So, for the in-game grace giveaway, we're going to draw... Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Dab Otika was drawn from the giveaway. Is following. Okay, are they in the chat? Can't see them. And they may have AFK'd, I don't know. I can't see them in the chat. D-A-B... Okay, let's have a look. G-A-B... No. Oh, yes I can. Yes I can. I can see them. It's alive! No way I've won. Yes, you have. Right, go up to GMI. Right now. Open it. 
uh, search grace so do this search grace under general like so okay and i want you then there you go uh to put a buy order in for one credit and let me know which in-game character you've made that buy order on Hurry, hurry! Camel! One, 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 one. Welcome to the stream. Boss time is the name. Okay. Right. So I'm going to go here. You've you've made the buy order, yeah? Good man. So I'm going to click on here and click sell. Uh, but instead of saying sell to quick buy order, I'm going to go to order details. I am then going to scroll to the bottom, which is behave chat, which is where it should be. Right, boss time for one cred. Let's let's try and find you. Uh, not seeing it. Okay, hang on. Oh no, there we go. Boss time. Please confirm in the Twitch chat this is in fact your buy order. Yes. What? Well, yes, that's my buy order. Yes, it is. Right. Here we go. One credit for one grace. Boom. There you go. You are now the proud owner of a grace which you're going to have fun selling and fluffing around with the credits with. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, there's an easy way to do it. You have to withdraw 100 and... What was it? 130. So if you do sell it, go in the grid, head to the Unicorn Hub. You know it well. All right, once you're in there, Face east, take the door to the south, go past the table, stand on the line, open GMI. You may have to do that, but open GMI. Open the mail system, and what you're going to have to do is withdraw, and trust me on this, never leave your credits in the email system. Withdraw 1 billion creds at a time until your account balance is below the 4 billion. Create a buy order. It could be for a grace or any kind of uh, backpack because you can't sell those on GMI. And then create the buy order withdraw the money absolutely do not leave the money in the mail system when it times out the credits are gone there's no getting them back okay yeah 999 999 999 at a time is the max so you pull each one out so that's a hundred and 130 so that's 126 emails you're gonna have here and then you can modify the buy order or create another buy order for three billion by withdrawing the billion it will fill your credits so if you have as many credits as this guy get them off before you start put them back in modify or create another buy order and then you're gonna have to stay on top of them after the fact until such time as you can use them okay and but leave absolutely none of them in the GMI or you will cry your eyes out then there's nothing I can do Funcom or any GM that still works for Funcom can do if the email expires with the billion credits on it if they go they're gone there's no getting them back so absolutely whatever you do don't leave them in the mail system you can leave them in GMI they will last forever effectively but do not leave them in the gmi 
Uh, the email system. Right. Who else is streaming Anarchy Online right now? Well, me and the live feed. Okay. Who else is on? Someone doing Minecraft. And Okay. Nobody I know. Anyone got a suggested channel to raid? You can't add one after the fact, healer son. I'm sorry, dude. It's already been drawn. It'll have to be next week. Or you could sell it. Or you can click on redeem and have 28 days free game time. Up to you. Do whatever you want. You know? It's your prize. You do what you want to do. I'm not seeing anyone I've ever heard of. So, unless someone's got a suggestion, we're going to end the stream here. Thank you all for coming along. Uh, thank you all for participating. Next week, it'll be uh, the Saturday stream will be a Grace giveaway and <coughs> find a friend with two extra Graces on offer. That's going to be fun to sort out, but there we go. Um, but we're going to do it anyway, and that's with uh, Space Quest. Right. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to stream again tomorrow. And bye for now.